when last we left off, we were interrogating both Espio and Vector. We already interrogated Sheriff Knuckles. Next, we are going to interrogate Rouge and Blaze. So let's continue with our story here and enter into the next cart. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a bit longer? Just one more look around. The mystery calls. Tales, we gotta go. I know you, you're intrigued by all the books. You're a genius, you wanna read. But let's continue on. Okay, the investigation continues. Oh, now you can see my mouse. Cool. We're in the casino car where we will meet these fine ladies over here. And look at this child with a mustache. Very cute. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every car train car so far and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the microwave master with you. Yes, he did. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. <laughs> Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Hmm. Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? All right. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. T treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. All right, well, it's a Faberge chow egg. I don't know what Faberge, Faberge means but okay wow that sounds extravagant but please don't tell me you accepted amy's birthday invite only to find that egg a woman can have multiple goals i gave amy her birthday present already so everything's well taken care of she wrote me in on the hunt immediately i stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues i deduced that the Furbe Furberge Furbergey Chaos child egg is here in this train car locked in a safe wait so the treasure is real it's actually here and what did you manage to find rouge oh well why don't you both take a look Ooh, a blueprint two three zero four zero one i found the train's blueprint in the library car with the safe code written right on it the score of a lifetime the train's blueprint Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh, finder's keeper, sweetheart. Uh, uh, uh. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Furbergy. Furbergy chow egg. Is this a security guard? Is that chow right there a security guard? No way. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Furburge? If I'm not pronouncing this right guys, please type out the pronunciation in the comments because this is very difficult for me. <laughs> the chow egg. <laughs> Blaze, you don't have a problem with this. Why is there an elevator on a train? Shouldn't this be the only floor on this train? There shouldn't be a- Look at- look how many floors there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stories. This is a train. There is no seven stories on this train. No way. I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine vi business venture. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that, or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Lola, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares. It's time for a five finger discount. Let's go. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Lola are in. Okay, let's get that for Burge. For Burge. Fa Burge. 
chow egg. Hehe, <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Oh. Oh, okay. She got like the whole whiteboard and everything. Oh boy, what have we got in ourselves into? Access to Faberge's. Faberge's chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we? So that's us. Okay, that's Tails. Blaze. Rouge. And is that me? Is that me? No way. <laughs> Look at that child. <laughs> Back turn. Card in his pocket. Attack the guard. Bribe the guard. Distract the guard. We're going to distract them, guys. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was actually a really nice thing to say. Lola, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Look at, look at the way she looking at me, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs to needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Rouge, Tails, Blaze. Hmm. I think... Rouge would probably be the best one to do. Tails? Can Tails distract? Tails would probably bore them to death. Blaze? I don't know too much about Blaze. I'm gonna pray, say Ro Rouge. Of course, I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a child. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Hmm. Oh gosh, I made a mistake, didn't I? Oh well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Who's distracting the security guard? So not Rouge. On a child? Let's go with Blaze. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of poker chips on the floor. Ask the child about their partner and kids. That sounds stupid. <laughs> Do childs have partners and kids? I think so, yeah, but why? Um, uh, poker chips on the ground? It's security guard. He doesn't... Does he care? Maybe. He's not a maintenance guy. Yeah, yeah, just talk... Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. I chose, oh, okay, oh, partner and kids. Oh yeah, that's so cute, that picture. Perfect, I think we can move on then. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will we get the access card? Grab them and fly up the rafters. Ask for the card, pick their pocket, obviously. That's not your access key, no problem. That child in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can't help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Lola, what's your plan? Say there's a drink without a coaster. Push your security guard over. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Oh, yeah. Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I, um... You dress far too plain. You need would need a complete refashioning <laughs> immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. <laughs> I said we'll try something else. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. <laughs> she was still playing along with it. I don't want to push the security guard. Say there's a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despi despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it to in the elevator inside. We ce celebrity dance, pop some apple cider, sing Vicar victory a cappella. Let's let's pop some apple cider. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we kid it we didn't account for. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
What do we do about the mechanical hands attacking from the ceiling? Mechanical hands attacking from the ceiling? <laughs> Look at my eyes! This is so, so amazing! <laughs> oh, this would make a great thumbnail. High five each of them. How tails disable them. Tie them into one big knot. Mm, tails can disable them. I want to high five each of them. <laughs> the end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. Aw. My high fives aren't given away willy nilly. They are to be cherished. I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's see, think. They all humored my su suggestion. How oddly polite of them. What do we do about the mechanical arms? Well, Tails. Tie them into one big knot. And Tails can disable them. Let's tie them into a big knot. My shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here know how to tie a knot? <laughs> no one knows how to tie a knot. Oh, yes, Blaze. Well, no. Um, I can. But I gotta sing a little song while I do it. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. Okay. Okay. Hat tails disabled. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no! Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grips. Oh my god, I'm choking! And Tails is grabbed. Blaze just kicks it like, get away from me. <laughs> Cry and hope they sympathize. Imagine you're not in pain. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Cry and hope they sympathize. Imagine your tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right. Let's see what's up that elevator. This has been an interesting start to this train car right here. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. So we did it. All right. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. I would have loved to see an animation of all this go down. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. And it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim the Fabergi Chow Egg. <laughs> what else can I click? There's this one and this one. No question. This has to be the, the safe with the treasure. Enter the code in the blueprint and find out Rouge on it. Sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. <gasps> the egg's there. Oh, wow. It's here. <laughs> I have it. All right. Before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all you will bear witness to, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Tick, 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 tick. Is it a bomb? Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all of our hard work? Rouge, fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Oh my goodness. Twist the egg again. Throw and lock it in the safe. Toss the egg in the elevator. Take one for the team. Eat the egg. Smash the egg against the wall. Have Blaze set the egg on fire. Rock the egg to sleep. Stop it. Let Tails cool it down with his tails. Let Rouge kiss the egg. Chaos control the egg away, flip the egg upside down, let it finish shaking and see what happens. Tell the egg to stop. I'm gonna tell Rouge to kiss it. It's as they say, love always prevails. She actually kissed it. I still hear the ticking. Hmm, what a prude. <laughs> um.
Twist the egg again. Great idea. Stop, stop. That's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Throw like the egg in. Am I actually gonna die if I keep doing this? Let Tails cool it down. Cool the bomb down with your tails, like a fan. Worth a try. I still hear ticking. However, refreshing the breeze, maybe. Hmm, okay, new plan. Let it finish ticking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Lola. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Lola, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. S oh, okay. Um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes and uh, afterwards. The robotic bar arms can also t detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. So it's not a weapon. Those robotic arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as a chow egg, <laughs> the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is a conductor and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So, if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we wait. Hmm. Okay. She like sweating bullets. I think it finally opens by itself, huh? The egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were on to something. Woo! My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I am completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Eh, and look what's inside. Oh, that's adorable. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Faberge chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though, I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé child egg secret. Wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh... As much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we were, were spotted. Good call, let's go. That was cool. No one seems to suspect anything and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge. She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What, what, what is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we can take a look at them? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures. But I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. A key! Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we're, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's predicted unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Well, we'll do. Come on, Lola. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Like, we didn't interrogate them at all. 
The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time I we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. Are they created by Robotnik? <laughs> I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Can you imagine this whole train is made by Robotnik? <clears throat> uh, let me just... Let me just search this alpha over here. Tails, we must search the alpha bin. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Sigh, it's empty. Oh. Oh, did I hear an O? Oh? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. Yes. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's um very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. Okay, Alpha. I see how it is. <laughs> a lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's there. Lola, Lola, is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be. That's hilarious. Hmm. Oh, it has a Robotnik symbol on it. This train is Robotniks. Oh, I guessed it. That's not the Robotniks logo. I suppose he does deal with a lot of casinos. He's an evil scientist that always caused trouble for us in Sonic. Hmm, every poker chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it. So I'm not too surprised to see this here. I'm pretty sure this is Robotnik's train. Why would there be robotic arms everywhere? That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised then. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around him. I've but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Well, wanna play blackjack? Ready for some hold up? Let's play blackjack. I don't know how to play. It's easy, let me show you. I don't know how to play either. Let me show you. Lola, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of the these casino games. Can I take your order? Your alibi? Can I take your order? Can I interest you in anything on the menu? I'm content for now, thank you. The whole maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. We could tell. You sweat out of your uniform pretty often. Ew. Yeah, you're a very um, animated person. Wow. And what's your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car. Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Faberge a chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car, where we then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do actually. I kept winning. So I saved the cash out vo voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits? That That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That's Merc. She's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And tells. Do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Yeah, I didn't see cream. Did I see cream in this game? I didn't see cream. Oh, of course. Thank you. Can do. Okay. All right. Slot machines. Hmm. Should I give the slot machine a try? Yeah, play the slots. All right. Let's see. Big money, big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yeah, play the slots. Come on. Let's go. Big money, big money. 
I lost. Do I try again? Yeah, let's go. Big money. I lost again. Do I eventually win if I keep doing it? Lola, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money. I'm gonna get it this time. You'll see. Well, I lost. Maybe next time I'll get it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's see. Big money. Lost again. Big money. Lost again. You think? You know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. <laughs> I am insane, Tails. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. Mm, let's go. Let's go. Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? Sunk cost fallacy. The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have invested heavily in it even when it is clear that abandonment would be more beneficial of course i've heard of it why do you ask no reason all right big money big money uh i'll be over here when you decide you're done big money you think i'll ever win i don't think i'm gonna win One more time. Okay, I'm leaving. No, move on. Oh, thanks. Thank goodness. I really thought I lost you there for a second. Haha. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Rouge. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darlings? Are you hungry? What a, a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem, just let me know if you need something later. Sure, if I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. I have a bag of chips next to me. Doritos. Alright, your alibi? You think you could go over your alibi again with us, Rouge? When Amy began the mirror mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I, I immediately roped her in on the, the child egg hunt. We split up at the casino car. I went searching for blueprints. I walked back through the library saloon car, so I found it in the library card car did you see sonic at all during your search sonic no i don't believe so i remember him in the dining car at the beginning do you have anything to support that claim listen plenty of people saw me poking around and i have the blueprints on me i hardly had time to chase sonic down murder him and find the blueprints myself we appreciate you answering our questions rouge you take care likewise darling so one thing that's bothering me as well is why is Sonic on the floor in the dining car when he was supposed to be all the way in the conductor car? How did he get all the way back there with no one seeing him pass by? That's what I have an issue with. But let's go to the next car. Let's uh talk to Shadow. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it! Oh yeah, Cool Ranch Doritos, here I come. The lounge car! This is uh, where Shadow was, right? Now is a, as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I. No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Huh, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Oh, I'm the Iron Chef? Wow, what a compliment from Shadow. <laughs> Even though it's uh, he's just making fun of me. <laughs> We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be. I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Lola. It seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Sale. Indubitably. 
my dear Lola. All right. Lola, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do that? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Wow, Tails. Wow. Wow, you're going to open it. Uh, all right, tough love. I get it. Here goes nothing. Ah! Oh, just some sweaters. See? Not so bad, huh? Just dusty. <laughs> yeah, guess you're right. Boo! Ah! Sorry, couldn't help it. Lola, I'm fragile. There's a light in here. So, oh, Okay, there's a light in here. Let's see. Huh, Tails, do you see this? A pull string. Lola! What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There is a full passageway back here. Come on. We have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Lead straight to the library. What? This is the library. This is a secret passage from the lounge to the library. That doesn't make sense. This is a train. This is a train. Oh my gosh. I don't believe it. Shh. Quick. Back through the passage before they spot us. Hmm. Hmm. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage is added to your inventory. So Sha that's how Shadow came back. He knew about the passage. I was wondering how Shadow was able to lock the door from there and not give him a key. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey robotic arm, can you? Give me a high five. Give me a cold chaos cola. Hmm, nope, not listening to me. Sorry, I'm quite parched too. I could run and get a chaos cola for you. Ah, no, 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 I'll be all right. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here after all. Presenting Big Chow Band. Take a beat. Visit Music Plant Zone. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Play us a ditty, give us a jam. Give us a jam. Oh! That was very quick. That was spiritual. I feel real awakened. I have my mouth full. I'm sorry. I feel reawakened. Okay, Amy. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to say Sonic. We've been through thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip. But all will be revealed in due time. Oh, she looks adorable. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Could you please tell us? I hear sharing is caring. No way. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to cha challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. Talk. Take your order. Never mind. I'm so close to getting the scoop of the century. I can feel it. What is this? Computer? Ooh. Okay. Computer first. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. <gasps> Another alpha. Let's go here first. Hmm. A key ring. Must be shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring is added to your inventory. What's in the printer? Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song, Sonic rowing a boat. 
Sonic singing a song. Hmm, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stop me. Oh, cool. And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I uh, quietly set this back in the, on the printer. Trash. Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the alpha bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Lola. And you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the alpha bin, Lola? Hmm. There's always something in the trash bin. Let's move on. There's always something. Alpha won't let me down. Sigh. All right, let's check the trash bin. Hmm. What's this? Ha ha, ha ha! Crumpled piece of paper. Someone printed out a front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? Hmm. I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and see what and find out what really happened. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let me eat some more chips. Mmm. 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 Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare is so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Lola, we certainly will not. Start the interrogation. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we question everyone on this train and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train and, and I know why. Huh? Huh? Pray tell. Why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone ready. Everyone's ready for a scoop. Found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is a conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car for following. So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason, one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Hmm? So, you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others. So, one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all can't get out and leave me be well my source can back up these claims they will remain anonymous but i think the point stands my source claims they never saw sonic again after he went into the conductor's car why because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car reckless speculation is the logic sound though was shadow trapping sonic i'll play along and follow this train of logic amy if Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in a dining car? Yeah, my question exactly. Exactly! I think Lola and I can explain the car change, however. Huh? Lola, what evidence do we have to show Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Well, the hidden passages. Okay, just get my thoughts in order okay i hate this part oh my goodness ow how am i supposed to get oh, oh my god did i I didn't do it! No! No! Oh, I thought I had it. I'll give it another try. Okay, come on. Huh? 
Come on, come on, get them off. Get them off. Don't fail me now. Come on. Okay, I got him. Yes! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Lola. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Aunt Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Hmm. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha, huh. seems Cells and I were more thorough than you. <laughs> don't want to say that out loud to the birthday girl. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did SBO and Vector not see him? Well, uh... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Lola, do you have any guesses? Well, oh well. SBO and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Vector was with Knuckles, SBO was reading. Which are both... Good... Answers. SBO was reading. I believe SBO was behind a bookshelf at a table reading mm. SBO reading in the library checks out that's what he told me too he's lying what was that shadow when I completely obliterated knuckles and vector at what that whatever game I left the saloon car I spent some time looking for SBO but he was not there he was not in the library car oh my goodness a twist of events like I'd believe you you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for SPO, huh? Huh. If you must know, I needed to give him a key. Ah, oh, he didn't have a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps, Lola and I can further validate Shadow's claim. We can do what? Lola, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving away keys? His keys? That feels good. Now, to get my thoughts in order. Oh my god, how many times I gotta do this? Like, three times here, huh? Fantastic! Hmm? How many do I need? I'm not even paying attention to the number, but I got it! Oh! Oh! I didn't even look at the numbers once. Too focused there. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give SBO and Vector. No way! What? Well, well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. T interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? Hmm. If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could we have for lo locking all the doors? Uh, she's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent of Sonic's murder? I think Lola and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Well, why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have one question for you. Huh? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Uh, just um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Is it, Amy? <clears throat> Understood. Thank you, Amy. Lola. Ah, yes, Tails. 
I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. Yeah, my trash bin evidence. Yeah. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the keys cars a key. Wow. Okay, my brain malfunction right here. Stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So, why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow couldn't find us. Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Lola. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Huh? Huh? What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, ah, uh, how dare Lola show me evidence? Huh? Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Tells thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want? What Shadow didn't want Amy to know? This crumpled up piece of paper with her gift. That feels right. Whew. Just organize my thoughts. <laughs> Huh? Oh my god, why did it- Oh my god, he smokes! Huh? Did I get him all? Did I get him all? This is too chaotic! Holy smokes! Oh, I got so much! Oh my god! You went rooting through the trash? Yeah, that's me. I hang out with trash. <laughs> huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. Hot honey. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't. Gas. Ah, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's a band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is Psy, my current favorite. All of the members have B after their name. Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their ticket, Shadow is so pissed off right now. <laughs> their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car, Shadow? Was, was stationed in. Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured Dane's out so soon, but I see where he's headed. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because Shadow's a big Hot Honey fan. Shadow was buying a tickets for Amy. Uh, uh, what? Sh Shadow, is th this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Uh, I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow! I used the printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When logging on to the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this after I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Ugh. Probably our fault there. Ah, sorry. That's all the detective's job is, I suppose. Huh. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely, I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out and telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. 
Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plant's fault, fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow Eye, your gesture is so sweet. And after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later. And to make it up to you, you can come with me. Uh, uh, I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. <laughs> I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Sigh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I spent lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Huh. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Who is her source? Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for you, huh? Big scoop. I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. Is it Espio? My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Huh? But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Lola, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to an, a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then, let's do it. All right, guys, I gotta call it here. This has been a very interesting episode. Longer than expected, did not expect to actually get through Rouge and Blaze and Shadow in this episode. Um, because uh, Rouge and Blaze was not actually investigating, we were conducting a heist, which was awesome. <coughs> so, join me in the next episode where we see the conductor's car. And what ever happened to Espio? Where did Espio go? Right? Espio was lying to us. He was not reading the entire time. So, what was Espio actually doing? So, hopefully we find out in the next episode. And I want to say, no matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye-bye.